Today we're going to paint the sky color of your birch tree painting and you are going to get a paint palette set up like the color wheel. Now just remember that with the color wheel, if you mix colors that are across from each other on the color wheel, you're going to end up with brown. And try to avoid brown because that's not really a sky color, but beautiful bright colors um, can be in the sky. You'll need a fan brush. A fan brush is a special brush that has the bristles sort of spread out. It's great for painting texture and it's also paint great for just painting big areas. So I'm going to start out with, oh, I think I'll start out with yellow in my sky. And I'm going to go horizontally because I've got all these wonderful vertical lines already in my painting and I just dip into the yellow and try to get all of the white spots covered. If you drip, don't worry about it. You can go right over what you did. Now I'm going to rinse my brush when I go into a new color. And I think I'm just going to follow the colors of the rainbow. If you want to do, um, if you want to skip some, and that's fine too. If you add a little bit of water to your brush, you will end up with a lighter color. If you put more paint on the brush, less water, you'll end up with a deeper, more intense color. Now those two colors are right next to color, uh, color each other on the color wheel and I overlapped them a little bit so they're blending. You, can all, you can't really even see a line where they one color starts and the next color starts. Now I'm going to go to the orange. I'm using all warm colors so far. I think I'm going to go back to the yellow orange and go right over that so it blends a little more. Looks like a sunset. And I did not put any red orange in it because red orange looks so much like orange anyway, or kind of a reddish color. It's hard to tell it apart. A little bit more. Got a little bit of a. I think I'm going to go with the orange right on top of there. That actually makes the red orange then. Always remember to wash your brush in between colors. Now I'm going to use some cool colors. Uh, I think I'll go with the blue-violet. Or actually this is blue-green. And then some green. Now I'm going to use the fan brush in a neat way that will create sort of grassy texture. And you have this piece of paper to practice on a little bit. I'm going to choose something that's going to show up on that green. Probably that dark purple will show up. So I'm, going to, I'm just going to dip my brush in the purple and wipe it to get some of the excess paint off. And then 
when you paint with it, you'll end up with all these nice little lines like that. So I'm just going to get some of the paint off and then I can go on there and I can make sort of little grassy. Just blot it a little bit and then go in there and that's going to look like grasses or just a little bit of plant vegetation in there. And I think I'm going to do it with a couple colors. Um, I might go in with some orange on top of that because then it will make sort of a brown dark color. That will show up because orange and blue or green are going to make brown. And it will show up. So colors that are opposite of each other are going to show up well. And that is it. I am done with my sky and the ground and next time we're going to peel these pieces of tape off to reveal those beautiful white birch trees. But don't lift it yet. This goes on the drying rack. Next time we'll do that. We'll peel them off.